difficult to say. Um, I preferred I prefer to use Sega Fresh or Marte. Because when you see somebody who's two meters four, 180 kilos go over the shoulder and boom, you know, they go on the floor. It's more spectacular. That's what I prefer. Uh, but some people, you can't throw with shoulder fillers. You have to change, you have to do other techniques. But I, I, I always, my, my favorite technique was Seo Toshi. Afterwards, Morte, Seo Toshi, also to guy. <coughs> I used to do everything, left and right. What did you eat on a competition day? What did you eat on a competition day? What did you eat? Ah, what did I eat? Ah. <laughs> I ate a lot of sweets. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of time. I used to have breakfast early. Breakfast, normal breakfast. Uh, always to give uh, dry food. Dry food is very good because it gives you a lot of energy. Uh, sugar uh, is good, very good because you need sugar to have energy. Uh, the, before, the night before, I used, I used to always have a, a, a good steak, a big steak, because the meat. It gives you protein for the fight. It gives you the strength you need for the next day. So you can last, because when I ate in the morning, it was my only, I didn't eat afterwards. Until uh, once the competition was done, I used to drink water, sweet water, iced tea uh, with, with honey inside. Um, because I, I, didn't, I didn't feel eating in the day while, while I was doing competition. I didn't want to have the stomach full, so it's always liquid. And uh, fruit, dry fruit, very good. Yeah. What was your favorite combination? What was your favorite combination? Combinations. I, I used combinations when I had to. Uh, it's it. You know, sometimes you have you're fighting people who don't want to move, so you have to make a move. So I used to. As they knew I was very strong in Osotogai or Kouchigai, it was very good. And uh, as soon as I went in for the technique, they moved. And then I, I followed up with Siotoshi, Tayotoshi, whatever you like. It, uh, it all depends also the position of the partner, if he's down or up. If he's more forward, I used to do um, Oguma, Ashiguma, because all his weight was all the way forward, I couldn't get underneath. More. Um, but combination techniques is important. You have to do it. Uh, either the person moves. I always need to move all the time so they follow me. Uh, so combination techniques, um, I didn't use it very much. But sometimes you have a partner who doesn't move. The little one. What is your favorite food? What? What is your favorite food? Ah, my favorite food. Spaghetti. <laughs> no, I like all food. I like all types of food. Yeah. Once the food is good, it's good. <laughs> Shepherd's pie I like very much. Shepherd's pie. I do it. When I'm in Italy, I do it as well. I'm a cook. When I started to do ah, hmm. okay. Uh, when I started to I was almost 15 years old. I was, I was born the 3rd of January, and I started to do in the middle of November. And, uh, I got my black belt in eight months. I started judo in the middle of November and in July I passed my black belt. I did my first tournament, international tournament, senior, not junior, senior, over 21 years old. My first tournament was 
six months after I began judo. And I came third in the German Open. And from that day, I did all the podiums. The only podiums I didn't do was because I got injured. Sometimes you get injured. Unfortunately, it happened. But otherwise, I got medals, so many medals. And cups. I had so many cups that my parents gave them away. <laughs> when, I thought, when an uncle came, or my, an aunt, or a cousin, ah, he said, nice, nice cups. And they said, you want one? <laughs> because to clean them, clean them all every day is it's no good. Too many. Because unfortunately, there's a lot of dust. But I kept the best cups. Every time I won the European Championships or uh, the, the, the Olympic Games, I kept my cups. I said, these ones you never give away. But the tournaments, no, I won, they get the cups away. No problem. But I keep the medals. I must have what? Over 100 medals. And about 60 gold ones. Yeah. What kind of belt are you on? What grade, what grade are you? Belt? Ah, eight standard. Eight. It's no. ten years that I've been, almost ten years that I've been an eight standard. Hmm. Yeah. How did you become an Olympic champion? <laughs> I don't know. How, how did you become an Olympic champion? Ah, a lot of hard work. <laughs> Training. Okay. Um, if you want to be good in judo, you must work technique. Technique is very important. The more techniques you have, you can do, the more you can do, left and right, and the stronger you're going to be. And afterwards, you have to train. You have to train every day. I used to train about five, day, five hours a day, morning and afternoon. Sometimes at night time, uh, I used to go to my club in the evening, about half past seven, I used to train another half, an hour and a half. And on the weekend we had competition, so you know, almost you know, every day. Um, who, who was your idol growing up? I don't know. Who, who, did, who, did, you, who did you look to for judoka? Ah, idol? who did I? No. Who was my idol? Yes. My idol was Muska, William Muska. He was a Dutch guy. Uh, he was 11 years older than me. And uh, we did the Olympic Games together in, uh, in Munich. He won a both gold medals, heavyweight and openweight. And uh, he was, he did judo left and right. He was uh, an athlete that weighed about 110 kilos. And he used to be big guy, the heaviest one. I used to throw him left and right. And he was my example for me. That's what made me work left and right. Uh, did you do you have like a blue key? Yeah. Do you have a blue key? Mm, no. I used to when I was fighting, there was no blue jewelry. It was only white. I used to used to wear a red belt or white belt. And uh, the beauty of the children, these they came out in the 90s. So, you know. But uh, I have, I, I had one, which I used to do demonstrations with, and then I didn't bother. I gave it to somebody else. Did you master it? Because somebody asked me, can you give me your children? Yes. How did you first start judo? And how did you get into it? Why did you start judo? Ah, why did I start judo? How, how? how did you start? How did you start? How? Why? Oh, I started at school. Uh, every year, but my time, we had, uh, we could do 15 hours sports in school every week. So, in the beginning of the season, when we started school in September, um, they gave us a list of the sports we wanted to do for the year. 
and uh, there was summer sports and winter sports. And uh, there was judo for the first time. Uh, Brian Jacks, who knows Brian Jacks? Uh, his father started me. His father was my teacher. He started me off in judo. And um, I, you know, I just started, I said, okay, I'll, because I, I was a rugby man. I was second, twice British champion, school champion in rugby. Uh, very good in rugby. I should have. I was, I was playing afterwards in a London team. And, um, but at that moment I had to choose judo or rugby. So I chose judo. It was good for me. Yes? What was your favourite place of judo taking? What is the... Where did, where did you most like going for judo? Ah. I used to go to the Buddha Park. Sometimes I went to the regiment because we didn't have enough training in the week. But internationally? So we, internationally. Ah, internationally. Yeah. Ah, everywhere. Because every 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 competition is a challenge. Every, because when you're fighting in a country, it's more difficult to win, especially against. If I go to Germany, to be the German is more difficult because the referees are, you know, they, they like to advantage the same the countries which are hosts of the competition. And, uh, and my pleasure was to smash them over. It's a beat and bite, and that was my thing. It was in Germany, Russia, anywhere. But I, I like competing in Paris, in my home, because I used to live near Paris, and uh, it was, the public was fantastic. When you get 6,000 people standing up when you throw somebody, it's wonderful. Who was the person you least wanted to fight? Huh? Who was the person you least wanted to fight? Ah, nobody. <laughs> you know, there was one thing that uh, Judo, every time, is a challenge. Every time, the bigger they are, the more I want you to beat them. There's, you know, uh, even if somebody beat me before, I still want to beat them. You must never give up. Always go. And eventually, I beat everybody. That's how it goes. That's, that's why I'm in the big When did you get your first gold medal? I don't understand. What, what, what was your first gold medal and when was it? Ah, my first medal. My first gold medal. Ah, okay. And what sport? And what sport? And what sport? And what sport? Because I started off, I won uh, a gold medal in, uh, in athlet athletics. Athletics? Athletics. I won a gold medal in athletics when I was 14, before I started judo. And uh, it was the shop put. And I was the best one in England. I beat everybody. And uh, my second medal, gold medal, was. It was judo. Judo. It was the British schools competition. And I represented London. Uh, I was still a, I'm still a yellow, yellow girl. I'm still, I'm still a yellow girl. <laughs> and uh, we did the finals in uh, Crystal Palace. And there were schools for more of that. The, the best players from each uh, area, you know, from Scotland, from Nottingham, from Wales, from, you know, there was a final in uh, Crystal Palace. I was in Yellow Bay, didn't go up there. And uh, I beat all my fights. I even beat the Black Belt. Hmm. Last question. One, one last one. One more, one more question. Louder. Louder. Shout. How huh? does it feel to medal at the Olympics? How did it feel to medal at the Olympics? Ah, fantastic. Okay. Uh, Paradise. <coughs> Heaven. 
there's nothing better, but every, every competition you win, it's the same. You know, especially the way you win. For me, to win a competition, and I throw everybody for it, but it's the best competition. Uh, I, I was never satisfied. If I was winning by, by Coca or Yuko, or even was I, I still went to go in for Ipon. I wasn't happy if, uh, if I didn't throw in for her. Last question. Yes. <laughs> when will I sign up for that? Huh? <laughs> okay, everybody get to get in place.